By capturing and storing carbon dioxide from polluting sources, we can make real progress in tackling the climate crisis and in moving toward a clean energy future. So we produce carbon dioxide, or CO2, by driving gasoline-powered cars, by generating electricity from natural gas or coal, or from industries that produce things like cement or lots of other methods. And those activities have increased the amount of CO2 in our atmosphere, which is the main contributor to the climate crisis. Just take a look at this graph right here. To tackle the climate crisis, we've got to decrease carbon emissions across our economy and remove CO2 from the air at the same time. And one of the challenges that we face is that some emission sources, like cement plants, they can't be phased out immediately, or they don't have non-fossil fuel options even available. So our challenge is trying to make those CO2 sources as clean as possible in the meantime. And that is where carbon capture and storage, or CCS, comes into play. CCS allows us to capture that CO2 before, and this is the important part, before it is released into the atmosphere. Then we take that carbon and we reliably store it in deep underground geological formations or in products like concrete. We know how important tackling co-pollutants along with carbon is to frontline communities. Ensuring that frontline communities are included in project decision-making from inception to deployment will be absolutely necessary to make sure we deploy this technology the right way. Carbon capture and storage is an important tool we need to decrease our carbon emissions and to reach our net zero carbon emissions goal by 2050. And that is why the Department of Energy and the Biden administration are investing in carbon capture and storage projects across the country and creating good paying jobs in the process.